Hello and welcome back to my channel. Um, for anyone who just came here uh, from Author Angela Ann's stream, I was, uh, Author Angela Ann and I were streaming together today and she wasn't feeling well, so we actually, uh, she had to end the stream. And I figured I would kind of just carry it over to my channel because uh, I was feeling productive. So, hi everyone, how are you doing? <laughs> um, this is just gonna be writing sprints. I don't even think I put that in the title. I created this stream in like actually half a second. So <laughs> I don't even think, I don't even know what I called it to be honest, but I hope you guys are all doing well. And um, we did a, we did a, what am I, what is the word I'm trying to think of? Like a warm up sprint. We did a warm up sprint on uh, Angela's channel. So I think I'm probably just going to jump into like a longer sprint uh, for now. But if you guys came here from Angela's channel, um, let me know how you did on that sprint. If you were writing, let me know what you're working on. I see a couple people that I recognize already from her channel. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go through the comments and stuff. Thank you guys so much for coming over. Um, a nerd girl 75 is here. Hello. You've been like watching and commenting on all my videos and it's so adorable. So thank you so much. Grace is here. Hello. I'm good. I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm better than Angela was doing <laughs> with her migraine. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm good. I'm feeling super productive today. Like I feel like, you know, there's just days where you're not really in the mood to get much done. But, um, today, I'm, I'm feeling the productivity. So, uh, Katie is here. Hello, Katie. How are you? Let's see. Sorry. I'm just like playing with the settings here. What do you guys want to do, um, for the first sprint? Are, are you guys okay with doing a longer one? Or do you want to do another like 15 minute one? Cause we just finished a 15 minute sprint on Angela's channel. So let me know in the comments what you guys want to do, and then we can just jump right into it. I was saying um, that I completely like failed my <laughs> camp goal, and um, it's totally like it was expected. Right at the beginning of July, I thought I was going to do so well. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to crush this goal. And then um, a little bit later, it, I realized I was like about halfway through July. I was like, OK, I'm actually not doing so well with this goal. So but I hope you guys had a really successful camp and I hope you guys aren't too burnt out because I know that that's definitely a real thing. So Grace said, I'm normally a pantser, but I have been feeling stuck lately. So I decided to try and do a basic outline and see if that helps to add more detail with where I want my story to go. Yeah, I I was a pantser. Um, when, I, when I started this work in progress and then I kind of got to the middle and I realized that I was having a lot of trouble because I didn't plan it well enough. And then I started to outline and I don't know. I, I don't really know how much it helped me because I, I just, I'm so bad at the whole planning aspect, but I hope that it does help because I, it can be super beneficial. Katie said she grabbed a coffee and came back to Angela's sprint and we rewatched what happens. Thank you for continuing some sprints. Oh, well, thank you for coming because I was, uh, I was like, oh, I'm going to go over to my channel, but if no one comes, then it's just going to be me writing alone. So <laughs> I also have a coffee. Mine is empty now, but I had Starbucks. I needed it so, oh, I just wrote on myself. I needed it so bad. I was so tired today. Katie said, same on the nano goal front. I realized the goal I set was not realistic and I have no idea how to make a nano goal that works with editing. Oh my gosh, me too. Yeah, so I was editing as well during nano and I shouldn't say I was editing because I like didn't manage my goals. So was I really editing? Because I didn't really do much, but I agree. So I set like a chapter goal, I guess. I was like, um, I wanted to do like five chapters of editing week, but I know some people do like word count goals with their editing. Some people do page counts. So, I mean, I think it really, it really depends. I think it's kind of just like whatever you want, honestly. I don't know. 
Grace said, oh, you're welcome. Thank you for coming. You have Dr. Pepper. Oh, that is honestly one of my favorite sodas. Like I don't really drink pop that much, um, but I love Dr. Pepper. It's so good. Um, right. Yeah. So I guess we'll probably just start a sprint. Do you guys have a preference? Like, what do you think about like 20 minutes? Is that, is that good? Is that too short? Is that too long? You let me know and we will start. I did, how did I do last sprint? I think I got, uh, let me see. I'm going to do, I'm going to count my words here. I got 446 words last sprint. I'm just kind of like finishing up a chapter. So I'm very, I'm very excited. I'm super motivated. I love writing. I just, when you just like know what you're writing and it kind of just comes super easy, that's my favorite. And that's kind of just what happened last sprint. So Katie says 20 or 22. Grace says 20 or 22. Grace said, I didn't really do camp nano this year just because it was the middle of the last month. Oh, oh, finals. Yeah. Yeah, that's that was a problem for me with like regular nano because um, November is like, midterms ish in university so then uh where i go anyways and so i always had i always had midterms to deal with but i'm out of school now so i will be doing uh not camp sorry i'll be doing full-on nano in november so i'm super super excited i'm i'm very excited okay so oh hi renata how are you so glad you're here. I've seen you on so many streams lately. I just like recognize um, your name. Okay, let's see what we got. I think we're we'll do 22 for this sprint, and then we will do 2002 uh, for the next one. How does that sound? So I, I already have, I already have one that's set up for 20 minutes, and then we'll do 2002 for the next one. I'm just gonna set up the banners for that so second sprint okay because if i don't set it up right now i will 100 percent forget okay so i'm gonna set timer and attempt to share my screen i'm still super new at this so i always like struggle with with trying to share stuff but i think it worked so okay 20 minutes and Good luck, everybody. Hopefully you are all super productive and we will start right now.
Okay, that's the end of the first sprint. Um, I just realized that I said I was gonna do 22 minutes for the first sprint and I didn't. I apologize for that. Um, but how did everyone do I, in that 20 minutes instead of 22? I see we have a few comments that came in uh, while we were writing, so I'm just gonna go through those. I don't even remember where I left off here. Uh, let me see. Sage uh, stopped in to say hello and drop a like. Thank you so much, Sage. Um, oh yeah, I guess if you guys want, um, go ahead and like this stream. I don't really know, <laughs> I don't know what the function of it is as opposed to like a normal video, but go ahead and drop a like if you feel like it. And if you're not subscribed to me, um, please hit the subscribe button. It really helps me out. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Uh, Laura joined us while we were sprinting. Hello, Laura. Grace, almost on Outlining Act 2. Very nice. That's super exciting. What are you, did you say what you were working on? I'm going to go back in the comments. I don't think so. What are you writing, Grace? Is it what genre and such? <laughs> Yeah, we'll do the next one as 22. We're going to be here for a little bit, so we'll do 22 for the next one. <laughs> and then um, 2002. Because, yeah, I messed that up. I was just so out of it. I don't even know what I was doing. Um, let's see. I'm just trying to like edit this. I can sprint. I got, uh, I'm just going to take a look at my work. Oh, it's a summer romance. I think you might have said that in a different stream. And I was saying that I love summer romances. That is, that's awesome. Katie said, it's all good. I cleaned up my desk and read a bit while sipping my coffee. I'll start writing next right. Nice. Yeah, that's, that's good. Oh, coffee. I could use another coffee right now. I finished mine like an hour or two ago. So I'm, I'm ready for another one almost finished with my notes about flatworms. Ooh, I feel like I hear anybody who's doing like biology, I feel like they always talk about flatworms. <laughs> I'm like, I did arts, I wasn't in the sciences. So I'm like out of touch with that kind of thing. I did, I did a couple science courses, but my, um, my primary co course load was like humanities and social sciences. Uh, I got, let me check my word count. I don't know why I keep forgetting. And I think it was, oh yeah, it was 493. That was how many words I got. So I'm almost done my chapter. I think I'll finish it next sprint. Grace asked, what's, what genre is everyone else working on today? I guess I didn't even tell you guys what I'm working on. If you're curious, um, it is a, I guess it would be like an adult romance novel. Um, that sounds really like weird to say, I guess, but like, whatever, it's a romance novel. Um, it's a love triangle situation. I actually, um, yesterday was kind of the first time I like shared anything super substantial about it. Um, I posted my, uh, synopsis of it on Instagram. It's gone now. It's not on there anymore, but I was just hoping just to, I don't know. I feel like author tube is such a nice place to like share your work and kind of just get feedback and stuff. And that's something that I've never really done is like shared something super specific about my work. Um, I've shared the title and the title of it is worst ways to love. Um, I was talking about that on Sarah's stream last night, I believe, but yeah. So anyways, and people had such nice things to say about the synopsis that I posted and it, I was so happy. Katie says she's slipping between a dark fantasy and dystopia slash superpowers novel. Ooh, that's awesome. That's super exciting. I am really stoked to start writing uh, my fantasy novel for camp camp for NaNoWriMo. Um, I have started like outlining it. Oh, I can't even talk. I don't know what I'm doing. I started outlining it for uh, I was going to outline like during camp and then I decided to edit during camp my current work in progress but yeah that's that's super exciting flatworms are the best part of biology <laughs> laura said i'm outlining my christmas romance novel i feel like i either you were either on one of my previous streams or 
on a different stream that I was also on because I remember someone talking about outlining a Christmas romance novel and I was saying that I just like love Hallmark movies and I do I have like I don't know if I've ever read a Christmas romance novel and I feel like that would literally be like just completely up my alley like I feel like that that would be an amazing thing to read I just love cute fluffy like romances where you just you don't have to really think you just read and it's just adorable and you get to just be kind of like in a fairy tale Grace says she loves a good love triangle. Yeah, me too. I'm I'm in on the love triangles. I'm pretty much like trash though for any like any trope, like any romance trope. Like I don't even friends to lovers, enemies to lovers, love triangles. Um, I don't know, just all of it. Oh yeah, yeah, dystopias are very cool. Yes, we have some more fans of Christmas romances. <laughs> yeah, they do. They do like marathons on like on TV sometimes. And I just I can't even handle it. It's just too much cute. Do you watch When Calls the Heart? I don't think so. Let me look that up. Oh, God, sorry. That was really loud. Is that like a TV show? Oh, the Hallmark Channel. See, I'm from, okay. So I live in Canada and I do, we don't have the same Netflix as the States. I don't think, it says this is on Netflix. I don't think, uh, I don't think we get this on Canadian Netflix, but I would 100% watch it. It has like an eight out of 10 on IMDb. IMDb, yeah. Um, that sounds like something that I would like for sure. Laura says, me too. I don't know what that was in answer to, probably the Hallmark stuff, not sure. Uh, Christmas room, it's so cute. Does it feel weird to work on it in July? I have Christmas music on to get me in the mood. It's 90 degrees out. Uh, that's actually hilarious. I love, oh, I love Christmas. My trope is second chance. Ooh, second chance. Yeah, that's, that's a good one too. When Calls the Heart is set in Canada, you should have it. Well, I'm going to have to check that out then because that sounds com like completely something I would absolutely love. I sound dramatic. I think that I'm going to just get ready for the second sprint um, because I need to go grab some more water. I'm just going to like put my avatar up for like a couple minutes because um, I don't want you guys to see my like messy kitchen in the background. But uh, okay, we're going to actually go for 22 minutes this time. I will share my timer. Oh, I better take this down. Okay, well, I hope everybody has a super productive sprint. I'm going to have a less productive sprint because I need to run and go grab something. Maybe I'll make another coffee even. Who knows? It's just totally up in the air. But good luck writing, everybody, and I will see you in 22 minutes.
Okay, so that, that is it for our second sprint. Um, this one actually went for 22 minutes because I remembered. Um, how did you guys all do? I accidentally just closed the timer window instead of just screen sharing. Um, I hope you guys all were super productive. I'm just going to go through the comments here. We were talking about when calls the heart. Okay, so it's set in Canada. Yeah, I'll have to look on my Netflix because I feel like this is totally something I would have watched. I always joke and say that I'm pretty sure that I've watched like every rom-com on Netflix, like every decent rom-com. And every time I go on and try and find something, I literally... I'm like, no, I've seen this, I've seen this, I've seen this. Like, I'm a super, like, I'm a super big fan of rom-coms because they're so mindless. And I've totally mentioned this before, but you can just, like, sit and watch and you don't have to be like, oh, like, I stopped paying attention for two seconds. Like, what on earth is going on? I'm actually re-watching The Vampire Diaries right now. I somehow convinced my boyfriend to re-watch it with me. And he's Team Stefan, and I've never been so embarrassed. If you guys have seen The Vampire Diaries, I would love to know what team you're on um because I'm super interested I forgot how good it gets like I mean like the first few seasons are really good but we're on season four right now and it is so so good I'm just loving it uh sounds dramatic uh a nerd girl 75 is working on a twisted fairy tale story that's fun um I used to read like the Sisters Grimm, I believe. I don't think I still have the books, but I think it's Sisters Grimm. Like, there's Brothers Grimm and Sisters Grimm, but one is, like, kind of, like, I don't know what the genre is called. I mean, it's not YA, but it's, like, for, I don't know, what do they call it? It's, I don't know, I think I read it when I was, like, 12 or something, but it's the fairy tales, but like the real fairy tales, I guess. But anyways, it follows these two kids and they're living through fairy tales. I think it's the Sisters Grimm. If you guys know what I'm talking about, let me know. But I love them. And I, yeah, so Twisted Fairy Tales are a win in my book. Oh yeah, Katie asked which fairy tale and um, a nerd girl answered a bunch of different ones. Jack and the Beanstalk, Goldilocks, Red Riding Hood, Rapunzel, Cinderella. Yeah, that's awesome. That's such a cool idea. I would love to read that. Grace said she finished Outlining Act 3. Wow, you were just flying through these. That's so amazing. Grace was Team Stefan. Oh, that hurts me a little bit. No, I'm just kidding. You can be with Team whatever you want. <laughs> Katie says 435 words that time and thinking maybe I need to outline whoops <laughs> that's that's really good yeah I mean outlining is probably never a bad idea right uh I got 432 so we were very very close Grace asked have you seen the kissing booth it's super cheesy but super cute yeah um actually I was oops, I was talking about this on a different stream um I think when I streamed yesterday morning but I did so I've seen the kissing booth and then kissing booth 2 just came out it is it's super super cheesy but like it's totally my thing like I mean it's just something that I like I, no matter how cheesy it is I still like it and I still enjoy watching it so I'm like not even mad about it honestly though like how do you feel about Lee Flynn because he just annoyed me in the second one I was just like can you just get your life together and stop being so annoying <laughs> Katie says I was technically team Damon but honestly I am totally team Klaus not with Elena just but yeah um Klaus was actually super cool um I if I had to pick one of the originals I was a, a team Elijah um I just really like Elijah and I don't know not not in the beginning like not when he was first introduced I think he was he looked kind of funny um but then he kind of like got a more like modern looking style after and I just I really liked him but uh, yeah I'm 100% team Damon with Elena um I was super sad when Ian Somerhalder and Nina Dobrev broke up in real life because, I don't know, I just thought they were cute. But I think there's, like, a pretty big age gap there. 
Um, and now, I mean, he's married and he has kids. So, but yeah. So, okay. Team Klaus. Yeah. I mean, that's everybody in that show is honestly just so good looking. It's crazy. I don't know where they found that cast. Like, I don't think I've ever seen a show that has such a consistently good looking cast. Like there's shows where like the main three or four are like really good, but then like the supporting cast isn't as good looking, but like, just like thinking about it off the top of my head. So like Damon, Stefan, Elena, Caroline, Bonnie, Jeremy, Tyler, Matt, like they're just all so good looking. And like, I mean, I don't want to, and like, I mean all the originals and like, even Rebecca, which, like, I didn't like Rebecca. She was super annoying. But um, <laughs> so I mean that she wasn't good looking. So, yeah, like, the entire cast. I feel like I'm forgetting some people. But the entire cast is just, like, I don't know where they found them. But, uh, oh, no. <laughs> well, well, hopefully during the next sprint, then, you can make some more progress. Katie said, I also love Elijah, especially in the originals. Yeah, I haven't seen that much of the originals. I've seen a little bit. Um, I was watching it like as it came out, but I haven't watched any in quite a while. I didn't get, it's done, right? Like there's no more seasons of it coming out, question mark. Um, but yeah, I, I was a fan of Elijah. Renata said, almost done with this chapter. After this, I will jump to literature just to spice it up. Well, yeah, that's good because I feel like studying the same thing for too long is just kind of, you know, it gets boring and you need to switch it up. <laughs> yeah, but, oh, this is all such good conversation. Vampire Diaries, The Kissing Booth, yeah. The second one was a bit brutal. It was a little bit worse than the first one, I think, in terms of cheesiness and stuff. And I mean, like, Noah was like a big part of the first one. And since he was at college in the second one, it was kind of just like, mm, there wasn't really anybody. And I mean, like, I don't, I don't know that I found Marco all that attractive. Like I, he kind of annoyed me a little bit. I don't know, but uh, nerd girl says, I'm thinking about how I want my character to feel about herself. Yeah. Character outlines are something that like, even though I pants, I need to have a good grasp on my characters first. And I don't really think I did in this story. So I'm kind of just like developing them as I go. And I think it's, it's getting better. But in the beginning, it was really hard because I didn't really know what they were. Like, I was directing the characters more than they were directing themselves, which wasn't ideal but it's kind of worked itself out now so yes character development is very very important but i finished my chapter i don't know if i mentioned that so i don't even know what i'm going to do in the next sprint i think i'm just going to have to do some more organization with my chapters because i'm extremely disorganized with my editing uh i would love to know how you organize your editing uh anybody who is doing the editing process right now because i just it's a little bit tough to organize. So I feel like I just have paper everywhere and sticky notes and, you know, I just, uh, Katie says, literature spicy. <laughs> uh, have you been watching Legacies? So, oh, Alaric. Don't even get me started on Alaric. I freaking love Alaric. I don't know why is that a lot. Okay, like if I had to pick, so aside from like Team Damon or Team Stefan, Alaric was my absolute favorite, favorite freaking character. I like love him. Um, so yeah, no, I haven't. I actually saw a thing um advertising the legacies and I didn't know what it was, and then I looked and it said it was like an original spin-off or something, and I was like, oh, I haven't even finished the originals. So um, but yeah. Yeah, without most of the original characters. So Alaric is in that because I wasn't sure. Um, I was like trying to figure out if he died or not in the Vampire Diaries because I couldn't remember. Uh, so obviously not. <laughs> oh, wow. From Brazil. That's crazy. Being on these streams is always so crazy because you just get to like talk to people from all over the world and it's super fun. And it's like, you just feel, I just like love this community. And I've said this so much and I just sound like a broken record, but I just love how everybody comes on here and like hypes everybody up about their work and it's adorable. 
I just love it. I just love how everybody's so excited about everyone else's progress and everyone else's work. And it's just so supportive and cute. And I feel like it's so hard to find this kind of thing. And it's just, it's so good. It's so nice. Um, is the consensus that we're doing 2002 for the next sprint? I feel like that. I also, when I put the banner up for this sprint, I'm pretty sure I put up a 2002 one. Um, but I, cause apparently I just like don't even know what I'm doing. I am definitely going to dip out for a second and go grab some food before this because I also kind of have a headache right now. And I think it's because I don't, I haven't like eaten anything all day. I had like some cookies and, you know, that's, that's good. I feel like I've just been eating so weird. I'll just like get up and I'll have ice cream at like 10 in the morning. I don't get up at 10 in the morning. I usually get up around six, but I'll like, I'll start work and I'll work for a couple hours and then I'll have ice cream and it's just the worst thing. And I'm, I need to get my life together. Um, uh, let's see. Renata says, yes, it's such a positive community. S2, is that like, is that like an abbreviation for something? I'm trying to think of what that could be. Is that, was that just like a, like a typo? S2. Okay. If somebody knows what that means, tell me. Or Renata, if that was, if that is something, tell me. <laughs> So true. I love the Instagram writing. Yeah. Hey, if you have any people that you think I should follow on Instagram, put their handles in here because I follow lots of like bookstagrammers on Instagram, but I don't follow enough like author tubers on Instagram. So let me know if you have um, people that I should follow. I follow everybody pretty much that I follow on or that I subscribe to on YouTube. But yeah, let me know any of your favorite like Instagrammers because I would love more people to follow. Yeah, Alaric's story is extremely, extremely complicated. I'm at the part right now, so spoiler alert, cover your ears if you're not past uh, the fourth season, The Vampire Diaries, but, um, or you're not, whatever. This is from the fourth season of The Vampire Diaries, but yes, so he's currently, um, in the episode that I'm on, he is dead. He was like, Esther made him into the crazy Supreme Hunter thing, and then um, he died when Elena died. So he hasn't come back yet, but I, I knew he, I know that he comes back, but yeah, um, never finished the Vampire Diaries. I didn't either. I didn't, I didn't watch season eight. Is there a season eight? I didn't watch the last season. So we're rewatching it. And then I'm going to, I'm going to watch the last season. Oh, Klaus and Haley's daughter. Yeah. I didn't even know. I hadn't gotten that far in the originals. I knew that they had a daughter. Um, I knew that that was what Legacies was about. I didn't know Alaric was in it. That's amazing. I might actually have to watch it because Alaric, yeah, Alaric's so cool. He's just so cool. He's like, he's like the teacher or like dad that like everybody wants. Um, I agree. I don't know what we're agreeing to, but <laughs> yeah. Oh, the community. Yes. Yeah, me too. I'm like super new to it still. And like just the experience has been just so, so awesome. So Oh, it's a heart. Oh, okay. That is not what I got, but that's cute. What kind of cookies? Oh yeah. Okay. So they are, they're these cookies that they're kind of like wafers. They're like square wafers. And then they have like a slab of chocolate on top. I can't remember what they're called. I'll bring the box in with me because I'm going to eat some now. Isn't that so healthy? Me being like, I'm hungry and I'm going to go get a box of cookies. Um, I'm trying to think what they're called. I'll just bring them in, there, in here. Uh, is the originals any good? Yeah, I mean, I think it's pretty decent. Like, I mean, for people who are, like, hardcore Vampire Diaries fans and you just want more of, like, the story and you just want more, I mean, it'd be like if if they ever did anything that was, like, related to Harry Potter, which, I mean, they are obviously Fantastic Beasts, but it's kind of like that idea. Like, you just want more of the world and, like, you want to experience more of the story. So, um, yeah, that's, uh, you know, that's kind of the gist of it. I don't know, like how good it is in terms of like plot or story. Um, it's, I mean, it's probably not as good as the Vampire Diaries, but. Oh, cool. Yeah, here, I'll put mine in here too. Um, if anybody is interested, but yeah. I'm like, I don't ever usually write in the chat, <laughs> but yeah. So if you guys wanna follow me on Instagram and I have a Goodreads too, if you guys wanna do that. Um, yeah, drop all your links here because I need more people to follow and it's super fun. Um, if any of you are like readers, which I mean, it's pretty likely because uh, 
we're all writers, but if any of you are like avid readers and you have Goodreads, what is your Goodreads goal? Because mine right now for the year was 20 uh, because I kind of just got back into reading after a super bad reading slump. And um, I just set like a new goal at the start of the year. And I was kind of being really reserved with my goal because I wasn't sure how I was going to do, but I'm already at 18 books and I'm just like, mm, should I make my goal a little bit more than that? Or what should I do? So let me know what your Goodreads goal is. Cause I need some ideas. I was thinking of like doubling it maybe and setting it to 40 or something. I don't know, but I don't want to be too ambitious and then not beat it, beat it completed. I don't know. What else do we got here? Oh, my comments just moved. Okay. I really liked it. If you like the original family from the TVD. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the New Orleans thing was super cool. I always loved the flashbacks to New Orleans. Um, the whole like Bourbon Street thing and whatever. It was, yeah. So I can imagine that that would be good. I mean, they're all just so badass too. All the originals, like they're really fun to watch because they're just, they're just so ruthless and just very cool. I don't even know how many of them are alive, but <laughs> oh, hi, Sage. Welcome back. Thank you for joining. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you guys for dropping your links. That's great because I could always use more people to follow. I just love, I love seeing writer content. So, oh, that's cute. That's such a cute handle. I absolutely do not post consistently, um, like at all. So. If you guys are looking for that, my Insta is not the place for you. <laughs> oh, exciting things are happening. We love exciting things. My goal is 12 books because I'm stuck on the fifth one. Oh, what are you reading? What is the book you're stuck on? Um, yeah, like I 100%, I was having like so much trouble in the last few years when I was in school. I was having a ton of trouble meeting goals and I didn't even set goals. Like I read basically zero books in like the four years that I was in university. And then this year it was like, bam, like 18 books. And now in August I have four on my TBR. So I'm actually going to be posting a like July wrap up and August TBR slash like goals and stuff on Tuesday. So I post every Tuesday and Thursday. I'm thinking of switching it though. Cause I feel like it's really weird because I post Tuesday, Thursday, and there's only like one day in between, but then it's like from Thursday back to Tuesday. It's like a, it's like a long time. So I don't know, but anyways, keep a lookout for that. If you guys are interested because I have uh, some good books that I'm reading. So if you guys are looking for recommendations, <laughs> Are you changing, can you change your Instagram handle or are you like making a new Instagram? Yes, love exciting things. I know, just, you know, exciting things just fuel my life. <laughs> um, this is really random, but I like, this is not a beauty guru channel. So this is super random, but I got this like stuff today it's hyaluronic acid and it's supposed to be super good for your skin and i want to know if any of you guys have ever used it because i'm pretty stoked about it i've heard really really good things about it and it's supposed to be like a really great ingredient it's like a serum kind of thing and it's supposed to like kind of even out your skin and keep moisture in and whatever and i have like super dry skin and moisturizer is not really my friend it doesn't do um i don't know it just doesn't do great things for my skin it kind of just is not good so I got this hyaluronic acid and it's I don't know it's supposed to be good so let me know if you've ever used that I just did like a patch test with it like on my arm because I was like oh if this like breaks me out or if it like if I'm for some reason I'm like allergic to it then it's gonna be really bad but um, I usually don't I usually don't patch test stuff I usually just use it but I've heard horror stories of people like not testing say like face masks and stuff before they use them and then it like they've gotten like burns and stuff from it. So I have decided that I'm not ever going to not patch test something. <laughs> Good read school is 35. Yeah. I'll, I'll see if I can do that. I've been trying to do read ones. Yeah. Did you do the like reading rush 2020? I uh, tried failed miserably. I only, my goal was only four books and I only read like one and a half, one and three quarters. I don't know. It wasn't good at all. I forgot to set a Goodreads goal this year. Yeah, um, I I mean, I think you can still set one if you want. I guess if you're not keeping track, though, it, it's kind of like, it's 
there's not maybe not really any point, but I mean, I'm sure you could still set like a half year. I guess so. Wow, we are like past half. It is August, so um, <laughs> coffee and hangouts. Yeah, me too. Oh, I, just love, I love coffee. I don't know what the title is in English, but it's a biography collection of Vincent Van Gogh's letter to his brother here. Oh, that's cool. That's super interesting. Um, in 2018, I set a goal of 26 and read 33. In 2019, I set a goal of 36 and read eight. Yeah, I know. It's, it's, it varies so much. Like, I feel like I'm not super consistent. And I feel like sometimes I get really into reading and then like burn myself out. So I always miss the readathons. Yeah, I didn't even know about it until like a couple days before it started. So I was like frantically trying to get my act together to try and um, to try and get ready for reading rush. It was really fun though. It was cool. I, I wish I would have had more time because like I was doing camp at the same time. So it was a little bit tough, uh, but it was still good. It was good. I found that every day. I read one book on day one and started another. Yeah, that was me too. I read for the first couple days. I finished my first book, which was actually really short. It was only a few hundred pages. And then I, yeah, I was reading The Cruel Prince and I got a little bit of the ways through that. I did finish it after Reading Rush, but for some reason I just couldn't, I just couldn't read enough during Reading Rush. It was, it was a little rough. A mini goal for 2020. Yeah, I mean, like, eight is is a super good goal because 9, 10, 11, 12, are we really only four months away from December? That's horrific. Um, but, yeah, I mean, like, two a month. That I feel like that's super good. And, like, goals aren't set in stone. So, like, if, you know, if you don't meet it, then, like, you know, whatever. I always realize really late, never read anything. Oh, yeah, a mood reader, 100%. I'm the same way. Like, I feel like a lot of readers are mood readers, though. It's kind of just, like, I'm very picky with what I want to read when. Um, I was planning on reading all of the Twilight books before Midnight Sun came out and I only got through Twilight because I was just not in the mood to read that. And I was on another series that I was kind of super into. But is anybody has anybody uh, pre-ordered Midnight Sun to read? Uh, mine's supposed to be coming on Friday. I pre-ordered it and it's like not coming on. I, I thought for some reason, I was under the impression that if you pre-ordered it, you'd like get it on the 4th when the book came out. But apparently that's not the case. But that's okay. I'm still really stoked. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm in two book clubs. Oh, yeah. So you should at least be reading two months. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, I love book clubs. They're so fun. I just like, I don't know. I, I guess like in-person book clubs are really they're kind of hard to do right now. But yeah, I joined an online book club um, a while ago and I really wasn't into the book that they were reading. It just wasn't my thing. So I ended up not doing it because um, I was kind of like, I don't want to buy a book that I, I don't want, like that I don't actually want to read. I don't want to spend money on it, but uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll go check out Sage's poetry book. That's super cool. What series? Right now I'm reading Allegiant for the first time. Oh, sick. That's super cool. Yeah. I mean, Divergent was a great series. So that's... Um, what series? I don't know what that's a question to, but I'm currently reading the Throne of Glass series and I'm on uh, Queen of Shadows. That is my... That is my... I was going to say my work in progress. That's my reading work in progress right now. I'm also reading the Cruel Prince series. It's called the Folk of the Air trilogy. I don't know why it has such drastically different names. I've just learned to remember what it's called. It's really good. I'm on the second book out of the three. So it's a uh, fantasy. So is Throne of Glass. I'm a big fantasy reader. Challenges always motivated me, but I always miss them. <laughs> Yeah, I like I feel like it can be really good to have like a community of people that are reading as well because you see other people reading stuff and it's like, ooh, I want to read. But um, yeah, it can also be hard to keep yourself motivated even with motivation from other people. So, right. I think we'll probably get into the next sprint pretty soon because I really need some food. So I'm going to dip out and go grab some. Uh, let's see. I loved it. I love it so far. Yeah, it is very good divergent. Um, what series were you reading that you were invested in? Oh, yeah, it was the Throne of Glass series. So there's like eight books in it, seven novels, and then a prequel. 
Um, so I've read the prequel and then I've read the first three and I'm on number four right now. So yeah, it, um, it's just so, 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 so good. And I can't stop reading it. Everybody's so probably so incredibly sick of me talking about Sarah J Mass, but I'm on a very big Sarah J Mass kick right now. So I apologize. There are more authors than her, but right now she's the only person in my life. <laughs> Is the Cruel Prince good? People are, oh, yeah, I mean, it's good. I find it a little bit, um, like, it's definitely YA, but I, I think it's almost even up for a little bit younger of an audience. Um, I find it to be very, I don't know, just kind of the language they use and stuff is maybe for a bit of a younger audience. And the characters are 17, but for some reason, as I read, um, I think that they're younger and that's throwing me off a little bit too, but it is very good. It's a very good story. Uh, the characters are great and I'm really excited to read it. Yeah, so I wasn't... Um, I wasn't like 100% sure about it. And then my friend who loves Sarah J Mass said she loved it. So I was like, okay, well, I got to read it. And I don't regret it. The hardcovers are actually so beautiful too. I Maybe I'll go get one and show you guys later. But I, I do not regret buying the hardcovers. <laughs> I'll be back in a few minutes. Got Oh, what are the flowers? Oh, like outside flowers. Oh, 97. I don't know how hot that is. That, that sounds really, really hot. I love the quote prints. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I mean, like, it's, it is very good. Food is important, indeed. Throne of Class is amazing. I, yeah. Oh, who's your favorite character? Um, I mean, like, I don't know, out of who? I guess out of everybody. Like, I just love everybody. But pick between uh, Dorian and Kaol. I love Kaol. I'm team Kaol. Except, I mean, there is really no team Dorian or Kaol later on. But whatever. <laughs> I personally did not like, yeah, yeah, that, oh my gosh, yeah, the first book was a little bit, a little bit tough, honestly, um, like, but, I mean, it was, it was Enemies to Lovers, but I don't know how well it, it's going to be done, uh, um, <clears throat> so we'll see, but I definitely can see your point. Sorry, my throat is super dry, um, I'm just like, just dying casually it's okay yeah I mean that's true I and I think for a lot of people I mean for a lot of authors it's like that and I try to not really read too much into what other people think I think that it's really important to form your own opinions about authors and so like as much as I advocate and I say I love her so much I don't want to like I don't want to be like oh everybody has to love her work because that's definitely not true and I've found, especially since joining BookTube, that I've become okay with liking authors and liking books that maybe other people don't necessarily like, because I think you really just have to kind of choose, like decide for yourself. And yeah, and I don't, I don't hate on people either for not liking authors that I like, because I'm just like, it doesn't matter. Like everybody has their own reading style. And yeah, I mean, there's lots of great books out there that I don't necessarily like that like, 99% of readers love so but yeah I definitely polarizing yeah um never wanted to read Akatar or other fairy books but I heard Cruel Prince's Enemies to Lovers yeah I mean like I don't know as like as like a fairy book I don't know um how like I don't I don't necessarily like, I don't have an opinion on how it stacks up against other fairy books plot wise because I don't really think I've gotten enough sense of the plot because I'm only through the first book um yeah I it is enemies to lovers um but to be quite honest I don't know if it's the best done enemies to lovers I don't want to like deter you from it but in my opinion I'm I'm not sure if I'm going to be a fan of the relationship that develops <laughs> uh yeah, that's fair. And I mean, like, the fairy thing isn't for everybody. I've been on, like, a super hardcore kick of it lately. But before her books, I'd actually never really read anything. And if someone asked me if I was into that, I probably would have been like, no, I've never read that in my life. Team Kale, yes. Yeah, that is how you spell his name. Yeah, um, I thought his name was, I kept calling him Kale, like, the vegetable. And then I realized I had a pronunciation guide in the back of my book and I was like, oh, his name is Kaol. Okay. All right then. Yeah, a hundred percent. Like, I mean, and I feel like 
it's just, yeah, it's super hit and miss with a lot of people and a lot of different authors. So, but yeah. Uh, okay. I think, yeah, I think we're just going to start the next sprint. I'll put up the timer. We got a 20.02 and uh, that was decided on like five minutes into the stream and it was supposed to be the second sprint, but it didn't happen. I think I might have, did I do it as the first sprint? I don't even know. Uh, okay, let's get this timer up. I have to like reshare my screen because I messed it up. Um, I almost just shared the StreamYard screen. That would have been really, really trippy. Okay, did it work? Did I do it? Yay! Okay, so we will do 2002. And then I'm going to dip out and get some food really quick, but I wish you guys all the most productivity and hopefully I'll be productive too when I get back.
Okay, so that's the end of our third sprint, our 20 minutes and two seconds sprint. How did everybody do on that one? I did nothing. I ate. I never thought that I would be live on YouTube eating food. And, I, you know, I'm just so attractive over here just eating on camera. I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> I haven't eaten all day. I'm so hungry. Um, Autumn Ashley joined us. Hi. <laughs> I'm so excited you're here. Uh, I feel like you were eating on your stream the other day. I think you were eating breakfast and you were joking about that. So I um, I feel better now that you're here. <laughs> uh, let's see. Right. Yeah. We were talking about K-All and yeah, I do too, actually. So that's hilarious. A nerd girl said, I need a good last name. Any ideas? I usually use... I usually use name generators when I need last names. So there's ones where you can go in and like pick the like origin and stuff and you can put in the first name and it'll like match you with a good last name. So yeah. Um, Renata asked what's the first name of the character. And she's a teacher. So the characters. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you could probably look up, like, um, good teacher last names. And, I mean, even just even just thinking back to, like, teachers you had and thinking about their last names. Like, I think certain last names are, like, very, like, teacher-y, you know? So, um, but, yeah. Everyone's saying hi to Autumn. Um, a nerd girl said, I started writing the first chapter and it's flowing, or sorry, Grace said, I started writing the first chapter and it's flowing much better now. Ooh, that's good to hear. A few paragraphs in, although I really need a last name. Yeah, I mean, I guess you could always just, you could always just throw something in there for now, like just put in Smith or something and then just change it later. Um, Newton or, oh, I like Brightly. Edison, yeah, that's good too, actually. I mean, yeah, I feel like there's, there's names that are just kind of like teachery. So um, if, if you guys want to start thinking about how long you want to do the next sprint for, that would be good. Harper. Oh, I like Harper. I think Harper is a, is a really, really good one. I, I vote for Harper, um, which is funny because it's like a first name or a last name. Um, yeah, I, what did I do? Yeah, I ate, ate some food and I'm trying to organize chapters right now because I just don't know. I'm stuck. I have my first seven chapters like in order and then I'm stuck. I need some like filler and I don't know what to do for my filler chapters. So yeah, that's kind of where I'm at, but I was going to like lay them out on the floor and try and organize them, but um, I had my fan going and that was becoming really difficult because it was blowing everything around. But um, Grace said she likes Graham. Yeah, Graham, was, that's a very good suggestion. Brightly. Yeah, names are tough. Like, I feel like sometimes. Um, Sometimes they come supernaturally, supernaturally, and sometimes they do not. But my main character, um, her name is Raven Ellis, and um, I don't know. That's that's it. That's all I have to say. That's her name. But <laughs> I feel like I totally like share, like overshare about what I'm writing. But I just like I don't know. I'm just excited about it, and I just want to. I just want to get it out there and tell people. And I love hearing about what everybody else is writing. So speaking of Supernatural, has anyone here watched Supernatural? I, it's over now, I think, or they're doing their last season. Not sure. But Katie said, grab a cup of coffee, took my dog out. Now I'm back. Oh, nice. What kind of dog do you have? I love dogs. I've always wanted a golden retriever. I um, 
I just, I love them so much. I love, I love all dogs. Well, Graham from Hannibal, I've never seen that, but I, I'll, I'll believe you. <laughs> I keep changing my main character's name. Oh, Ava Johnson. Why do I feel like that's, I've heard that before. That's really funny. Ava, Ava Johnson. Hmm. I guess, I mean, like, I guess Johnson is kind of a common last name, but, um, yeah, I've, I changed, I changed the names of my characters as well. And then I finally settled on, um, I finally settled on some. Oh, well, that's good to hear. Yeah, I do too. I love hearing what people are writing. It's the best. I don't have a main character name yet. Yeah, sometimes they just come after. I feel like, <clears throat> sorry, sometimes I'll name my main character and then I realize that their name doesn't match the personality that I've created for them, so I have to change it. <laughs> I always have problems. Yeah. Yeah, I have a harder time with, I think, male names too because they just don't, for me, they do not come as easily uh, to think of. So, oh, a chocolate lab. Oh my, oh my gosh. That must be a big dog. Golden Retriever, St. Bernard mix. Oh my goodness. That's, what are their names? Cause I'm sorry. I'm just like obsessed. Um, I had, when I was growing up, um, we had a border collie mixed with a black lab and she was so she was like a she was smaller because she was more border collie than lab um so she was about like 25 30 pounds and she looked like a little coyote because she had like little pointy ears and she was so cute and then um now at my parents house it's technically my dog but um i don't live there anymore so uh he he is a He's a black lab and he's like 80 pounds, <laughs> but he is the most adorable thing. He's so goofy and I love it. But yeah, golden retrievers are my absolute favorite. Uh, season three of Supernatural, it's hard for me to get, yeah. That's hilarious because what, yeah, when I binged, I binged Supernatural when I was in like high school and I, they, they had about six seasons out at that point, and I, I binged them in the summer, and, like, I just couldn't stop. Like, I would watch so many episodes in a day. Um, it was it was crazy. Yeah, I don't like scary stuff either, and I know that, like, certain episodes are very scary, and, like, sometimes, like, you look at episodes that, like, aren't scary at all, so it's kind of, like, hit and miss, but I don't particularly, I do not like jump scares. I hate jump scares. They're just... I'll have like, I'll have to like cover my eyes or like have a pillow over my face because I just can't, I can't handle it. And I don't like being scared. Oh, black golden dude. Oh my gosh. That's so cute. Does like, okay. I know that that's, that's like a golden retriever and a poodle, right? Golden dude. Right. <laughs> um, does it have like curly, like fur, like a poodle does, or is it like golden retriever fur? I feel like I'm in the minority when it comes to character names. I have to come up with names for my characters before I write. Yeah, I mean, I definitely do, or else I just, like, can't write the story. But I definitely find it difficult. Bear, 140 pounds. Oh, my gosh, you must eat so much. <laughs> 140 pounds, that's crazy. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, like, our lab at home is, like, not definitely i did not even know that labs got that big i wow bell oh my gosh only 100 pounds yeah like that's that's literally the same size as me that's crazy that is like i could not imagine a 140 pound dog like it would like pull me along yeah it used to big dogs i thought i was too but apparently 80 pounds is not a big dog Right. Okay. Yeah. Gold retriever and a poodle. Episodes with the little girls in dresses. Ugh! Oh my gosh. Yeah. No, I know. There's this episode too. You probably haven't gotten to it yet. And this, this is not a spoiler, so don't worry. But him and Dean and Sam are like, they're in some building and it's dark and they have a flashlight and they're opening this like locker and this cat jumps out and it's literally the scariest thing I've ever seen. And it was, it was horrendous. So 
if you're watching an episode where they're holding a flashlight and opening a locker, that happens. <laughs> Aw, that's so cute. Oh, I just, I love dogs. We have, um, I think I've mentioned this before, but we have outside of our balcony in the parking lot, there's, we, we have an apartment and there's a dog run and it's directly outside, like across from our balcony. And my desk uh, that I work at is right in front of the balcony window. So I just get to watch dogs play in the dog run all day. Yeah, like fantasy names, I've, I had a really hard time. Like I just drafted, I partially drafted a fantasy novel to work on during NaNoWriMo. And it was a struggle coming up with names because I'm like, is this too weird? Is this too hard to say? And like, nothing is too weird. Nothing is too hard to say. Like you can literally come up with whatever you want and people will just deal with it because that's what it is. It's your story, right? But at the same time, I don't want to be, I don't want it to be like too weird. Yeah, muscular. That's the same with, um, with my dog that's at my parents house he's his name is dallas and um he's yes like very muscular and just like the biggest goof thinking he'd be 75 to 80 pounds yeah well you know what so ours he's a lab crossed with like something and i don't know i don't know what but they said he was only going to be about like 50 to 55 pounds and he was not he's like 80 so that's crazy oh i'll have to go watch your vlogs then because i love dogs how many times can i say that <laughs> when dogs have people names yeah me too it's cute um so she has to get going well thank you for stopping by and have a good time at work Yeah, that's a thing too. I mean, gosh, even some of the books that I've read, I'm just like, did nobody think that maybe this was like a little bit too weird? Like, I mean, even when I was reading Throne of Glass and like when you have to have a pronunciation guide in the back, I mean, I'm just so thankful that they do have a pronunciation guide because otherwise I, for a while, I didn't know there was one in the back because I didn't look because I'm an idiot. And so I was reading and I was like, just kind of, you know, when you like skim over a name and you like half pronounce it in your head, but you also kind of half avoid pronouncing it. And then you get to a point where you're like, I can't, I can't just like blank this out in my mind anymore. I need to figure out how to say this. I've done that with books before and I've had to actually like Google how to say the names because otherwise it was just not happening. So yeah. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do another sprint. I think I need to go have some coffee and get out of this incredibly, incredibly hot room because I have a headache. So I'm probably just, we can just chat for a while and then I just don't think I'm going to be able to really do anything productive. So Nerman and everyone questions that I don't know I feel like that's like a pretty like fantasy character name like if there was someone named Nerman in the like Lord of the Rings I would be like yes that that's a valid name like that makes sense so I don't think that's too weird um just a reminder to anyone who is not subscribed to me if you're interested um please go do that and um hit the like button on this video um I would really appreciate it how many times can I say that in this stream? It's a long stream though, so <laughs> I'm sorry. But yeah, I think I'm probably gonna get going. I'm just gonna just take a look to see if there's any more comments in here, but I hope that you guys all had a super productive stream and hopefully you can continue being productive, you know, even without my influence. Just kidding, I probably didn't help at all because I wasn't really that productive. But I did finish, I did finish the chapter that I was working on, so I'm super happy about that because I was working on it yesterday and I didn't manage to get it done and it kind of just left, I just left it and I was like, mm, I should probably finish this. So anyways, so yeah, that's, I think that's going to be it for the stream, but I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and uh, rest of your weekend. If it's a, if it's a long weekend for you, it's a long weekend for me here. So I have tomorrow off of work and I'm very excited. So Maybe I'll do a stream tomorrow. If anybody is interested and you wanna um, you wanna do some productivity, um, check my channel out tomorrow and there might be another stream. So, but that's it for now. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye.